Hey there, are you looking for help to create email sequences inside of Kajabi? Well, you are watching the right video. So we're gonna talk about that today. And if you stay to the end, I've got some hot tips on some email sequences that are must haves for your course business. So let's get started. So when you are trying to create an email sequence, what you're going to do is you're going to come to marketing and then email campaigns. Okay. One awesome thing is that there is an update, which I'll discuss a little bit later that talks about a lot of changes that are going on uh, with this section, which is wonderful. So appreciated. Thank you, Kajabi. Um, but this just allows you to be able to see all the emails that you have sent out in all, you also have broadcasts, you have sequences, and then you now new have events. Now, in order to create emails, an email sequence, you'll go over here to new email campaign, and then you'll click email sequence, and then you're going to title this whatever you'd like. So my new email sequence. All right. If you have created templates already, because you've been sending out broadcasts, you are aware of that, it is possible for you to create email um, templates, which are great because now you can brand and, and design your email the way you want it to look and then just copy it and create a new one and send it out. So I would suggest doing that first before you start the email sequence process, just so that all of your branding is exactly the same and it will save you so much time. Okay. So it, just for this particular example, I'm just going to create uh, click this one and or say get started they do have some templates that are available as well um let's say we'll name this one introduction now this particular title here is not going to be like your subject this is more internal so you can really name it whatever you want something that's memorable for you so that you can kind of um, at a glance know what that email is about and if you need to ever duplicate it you can absolutely do that all right so like right here it says save as template which is awesome so if you have any emails that you like send a lot definitely save it as a template so then you're going to say what day so if you mark this as zero so this is the introductory one so say someone is um, they just downloaded your offer. You don't have an automation for an email to go out. Then you would want the first email to be set at zero. So as soon as they subscribe, um, then they're automatic and they get into the sequence, they'll automatically get that initial email. And then you're going to put your subject. So we'll say, welcome my amazing. I always say amazing course because our courses are amazing. All right. There we go. And then, of course, you have your pretext, which you can name whatever you'd like it to be there, too, as well. All right. So now you can come in and you can edit it here. Um, they do have a new editor. You may have an option at the top that'll say, you know, to convert to the new editor. I encourage you to do this. This would be um, a great idea. So launch email editor. Then you're able to really customize it the way that you want it to look just like you can with the landing pages and it's it's wonderful okay so then you'll just make the email whatever you want this is just a template that is inside of kajabi just for this particular example um but then you'll uh, have it whatever you want and do save and close and now you're going to go and save again make sure you save again always always do double save just in case and then my new email campaign i'll go back to my email sequence all right. So now you can see that you have this one. And as I put zero, it says this is immediately going to go out when someone is subscribed to this email sequence. And you can do the same thing again. You can go and add a new email. And you see it takes you right back here. So like that's why I said it would be good to have a template, right? So then you would click your template, get started, and you'll say um, maybe my story. Maybe this will be like an introductory um, email sequence. So the first one is saying you're introducing yourself, uh, you're introducing the product, whatever the offer is, or welcome. And then the next email is your story, a little backstory on why you do what you do and how, why you help the people that you help. Great. Okay. So then you'll come and you'll edit this as well. 
Um, you can always send test emails, which is great. So for this one, you determine when do you want this email to go out? Now there is a section where you can set what time you want the emails to go out um, for the entire, just for in general for email sequences. Um, but then you can set it for whatever time you want. So 11 a.m. sounds good. And the next day, or if you want to do it every other day, let's, you know, put it as two. Initially, people come in, they're excited. So it's nice to kind of connect with them, you know, at least the first week, maybe three or four, five emails in a row, you know, just so that they don't forget about who you are, especially if they're new. All right. So then we're going to go ahead and name this. Let's see. A little back story. All right. So just for this example, these are just placeholders. Okay. So it is really good for you to test out your subjects and see what your open rate is. Um, but just for this example, we are just adding just a little bit of something in there so that you can see how to create, how to build out your email, sequ your email sequence. All right. So this is how you would add and you would continue to add them all the way down. Um, you can add automations, which I love automations. Okay. So here are a few automations that you can add. So say somebody immediately opened up the first email and then you could say, then what do you want to happen? Maybe you have a special offer that you want to, um, that you want to um, speak to them about, or maybe you want to send an email to the team and say, Hey, this person, you know, just um, opted in to the email sequence send out a you know follow-up email to them directly so you can connect with them so there are a lot of different ways that you can um that you can create automations inside of the emails here as well which is really awesome um let's see if there's any additional ones so uh unsubscribe which is which is another one a tag Okay. So like, say, for example, you have an email that is about an offer. Okay. And somebody clicked on that, but then they didn't, uh, but they clicked and open the email, but let's say they didn't sign up. You could create an automated email, uh, you know, uh, automated, uh, sequence or email, like send an email with a special offer, right? You know, like I saw that you, you know, opened up uh, the, the email, you know, what were your reservations? You can like, you can literally communicate with these people based off of their, of their responses, which is why email sequences are so great. And then it works for you, right? Cause we're talking about creating a, a lifestyle that doesn't the center us around having to be the system, but we have a system that works for us. Okay. So now you can also update settings over here. Um, so let's take a look at the settings really quick. So um, you can determine who is excluded. So who's excluded based off of whatever the offer is. Um, you could also exclude people based off of what forms they submitted. So if, for example, if you are doing a launch sequence, you want to send and you want to have everybody go through this new launch sequence, but there are people who are already in your, your program. So then you exclude anybody who purchases or exclude them after. So then that way, once they purchase, then they're not continuously getting these sales emails, right? Um, which is good because that will also help with your retention rate because people don't feel like they're being spammed even after they've already maybe opted in or did something, they're getting unnecessary emails. Okay, um, and this is where you can check, you can update the time here. You can add more automations here as well. Um, let's see, let's go back. And then this is another place where you can kind of do triggers. So when somebody signs up for this, uh, who do you want to sign up for this email sequence? So after you've built it out, let's say you wanted to go to who? So now you can determine what happens when people subscribe, okay? So when they, um, who are the subscribers? Uh, maybe it's for an event uh, or after they complete a quiz, they get this email sequence. Okay. And then those that you don't want to receive this email sequence, whether ever you don't want them to receive it at all, or once they maybe opt into anything that's within here, like um, if this is a launch, like I mentioned before, then you would just go ahead and you would trigger it to say, okay, I don't want people to. So when they um, are offers purchased, whatever the offer is, which I, okay, my amazing course, then. 
we will tell them to unsubscribe from the email sequence. Okay. So then that way, now anybody who comes in here, they won't get any emails if they've already received whatever is inside. All right. And then you can also track and see your subscribers. Currently, of course, this is just my partner site. So there aren't any subscribers in here. Okay. All right. So now take a look. So is the new sequence here. You can see the open rate, click rate, who unsubscribes. It just lets you know that it's active, which is awesome. So that is how you create an email sequence inside of Kajabi. So are you ready for a hot tip? So when you are creating your email sequences, it would be great for you to take some time to just sit down, okay, and then determine all of the sequences that you are going to need for your business. And doing this allows you to think long term for where your course is going, right? So here are just a few email sequences that are perfect to get you started. So you've got your welcome sequence, which just introduces yourself to your subscribers. You have an um, launch sequence, right? Where you're ready to launch your course. Um, there's also uh, pre-launch email sequences, which are awesome and really great. And then you also have like limited time offer. So you can let people know, like grab this for a limited time only. And then evergreen, right? So you can work and have your course working for you consistently, which is great as well. And then also re-engagement, right? To get those people back interested in you. So those are just a few hot tips on some email sequences that are must-haves that you would want to start curating for your course business. And I hope you like this video and make sure to comment and subscribe and let me know what you want to see. And if you're having trouble inside of Kajabi, definitely leave a comment and let me know what it is so I can do a video on it because I am here for you. I cannot wait to see you in the next video. It's a pleasure.